Hi booktube! My name is Sarah and welcome to The Bookish Knitter. Today I am coming to you with part two of the What's on My Kindle series. So for those of you who missed the first one, essentially what this is is a digital bookshelf tour. So I am going through all of the books on my Kindle. I'm sharing with them with you 20 at a time because I have a lot. It's over 1500 on my Kindle. And um, I'm letting you guys know if I've read the book already and if I haven't read the book and if I have read the book when did I read it and what was my star rating on it and what can like some of them I've read years ago so I don't remember a ton about them but I will let you guys know what I do remember and for the ones that I have not read yet so this is also a great way for me to go through the books I haven't read yet and I've been sitting there for potentially years I've put them all in a jar in on pieces of paper in a jar and I'm gonna pick one out and essentially that book will be added to my October TBR because I'm filming this in September so my goal is to get two of these videos done every month so then that adds two more books to my TBR for the next month so in the effort to save a bit of time because I did not get a video for you guys on Tuesday and I am sorry it's been a bit I, I was in the office this week and it's Monday was a holiday so I was having a very lazy day um, so I'm actually filming this Thursday morning and it's going to go up Thursday afternoon so in order to not have to edit a whole bunch I'm going to show you guys the covers on my Kindle Oasis because why not so let's jump in and get started so the first book that I have here is Finding Pride by Jill Sanders this is book one in the Pride series I read this back in 2017 and I gave this one uh, three stars not a huge fan I mean I've talked I talked about a couple of these other books in my last um, on my Kindle because I bought like three or four of them in a row and I really liked the idea at the time of this small town but I just feel like the, these are relatively short books. They come in at right around 200 to 250 pages long, but I find that the author is trying to do too much within a small number of pages, and it just didn't work. I mean, I didn't dislike them. Three stars is an average rating for me. I mean, you. I believe you can pick these up on Kindle Unlimited if you want to check them out for yourself, but yeah, I didn't absolutely love them, but they are what they are. Small Town Contemporary Romance. Uh, the next book is one that I have not read yet and that is, sorry I gotta flip through here, and that is Part-Time Cowboy by the great Maisie Yates. This is book one in her Cooper Ridge series um, and yeah like I said I have not read this one yet. How have I not read, uh, there's another one on here that I was like what how have I not gotten to that book yet? But yeah Maisie Yates so we shall see if that one gets picked from the jar. Uh, the next one that I have here is, so I've got a cat walking all over my toes underneath my desk, is Stranded with the Rancher by Janice Maynard. This is book number one in the Texas Cattlemen's Club After the Storm series. And I read this one in 2017. I gave it three stars. So this one I enjoyed. It is a Harlequin Desire novel. Like I said, the first in the After the Storm series. The Texas Cattlemen's Club is a multi-volume like they have many many different uh, they're still being published these Texas Cattlemen's Club books and they're always Texas Cattlemen's Club something I think the inheritance is the newest one so the after the storm I believe it was an eight book series they're written by various authors and essentially it follows one main arc throughout all eight books but you can read each of the books individually and this was really good it was about a tornado that is it a tornado I'm pretty sure it was a tornado that hits this small town in Texas and how each of the individual, these individual people in town, what the aftermath is for them, and of course romance ensues. These were really, really good. I have read the entire series, this entire mini-series of the After the Storm, and I highly recommend it because it was really, really good. Um, let me see here. What is the next one? Another one that I have not read yet, and we have... Uh, a Royal Fortune by Judy Durante. Um, this is book number one in the Fortunes of Texas Cowboy Country series. This is a Harlequin special edition novel. Um, so much like the Texas Cattlemen's Club, the Fortunes of Texas is another long-running series. They are still being published. They are, you have this Bible of the Fortunes of Texas of this family and then every year they put in another six book mini-series featuring different branches, cousins, friends of the family, stuff like that. They're really delightful. Again, this is a first in a series, so I am looking forward to eventually getting to it. Um, the next one is a book that I have already read, 
and that is uh, Runaway Lone Star Bride by Kathy Gillian Thacker. This is a Harlequin American romance novel. Um, this is book number one in the McCade multiple series. I read this back in 2016 and I gave it three stars. This one was good from what I remember. Um, a Runaway Bride uh, and I believe that she's a twin, which is where this McCade's multiples comes into play for this, this miniseries. Kathy Gillian Thacker is a great author. Um, I am not disappointed by her books. I mean, yeah, I gave this one a three star, but again, that is an average rating for me. I enjoyed it. It's a three star for me is not a, oh, I didn't like it. You know, if you're talking one and a half, two, two, two and a half stars, maybe. But three stars, I enjoyed it. It was entertaining and, you know... I liked it. So even if you don't pick up this one, if you do pick up anything else by Kathy Gillian Thacker, I think she's writing now for the heartwarming line. But I do know that there's a lot of her books available from the American Romance line if you're a cowboy. If you're a cowboy kind of person like I am. Um, the next one that I read is for something a little bit different. Because mostly it's mostly it's romance. You guys know me. Mostly it's romance. I read The Snow Child by uh, Elwyn Ivy. Is that how you say the author's name? And uh, I read this one back in 2017. I ended up giving it three stars. I liked it. So essentially this one was going all over booktube at the time. And it sounded really good. And I ended up reading it. And it's pretty much about this older couple who live in, I think it's Alaska. and Or it's Russia. I'm pretty sure it's Alaska and they desperately want a child and can't have a child and they build this snow child outside and then they wake up one morning and the child is alive. So it's very, very much a magical realism, almost a fairy tale-esque type story. At the time that I read it, it wasn't what I normally read. So I think that's why it got a three star. But, you know, if I was to reread it, I think it would probably end up more of a four star now that I'm, I read a lot more ver widely than I used to. Um, so I used to like really just kind of stay in my lane, but now that I'm reading more stuff that's a bit outside of what I would normally read, I would probably rate this one a bit higher. But um, I know a lot of people read this one. Like I said, it was all over booktube and yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, the next one is one that I read a bit more recently in terms of talking about all of these books. Um, sorry, bear with, I'm just going back here. And that is This Heart of Mind by Brenda Novak. This is the eighth book in the Whiskey Creek series. So I read this one back last year and I gave it three and a half stars. This one was really interesting. Um, the reason I say that is because our main female lead is, um, she's a former, like she spent time in jail for, um, I think it was manslaughter. She hit someone with her car and killed them. So vehicular manslaughter, maybe. And when she was in prison, she was pregnant with her ex's, well, now ex's, uh, baby and gave birth in jail. And then the son was taken by the father and raised. And now she's out of jail and she wants to have a relationship with her son. But he's now like a teenager. So it's been a long time that she spent in prison. And then there's this whole other part of it. Like, did she actually really kill this person? You know what I mean? So it was really good. Um, three and a half stars. I found uh, some of the things were a little like, I, I can't really remember exactly what it was that I didn't love about this one, but I mean, three and a half, I'm pretty sure this was almost bordering on a four star read for me. It was really interesting in terms of the fact that our female lead is a convicted murderer, you know, like, and this is a romance novel. So yeah, I, uh, I like this one quite a bit. Um, the next one is the one of the other one that I went, how have I not read this book yet? Um, but I guess I haven't completed the series and I thought that I had. So I'm kind of really hoping this one comes up. So we have In Your Dreams by Kristen Higgins. This is the fourth book in the Blue Heron series. I think there's seven books in total and I have not read this one. Like The Best Man is one of my favorite Kristen, is one of my favorite books of all time. Um, Two of my favorite books of all time are by Kristen Higgins, The Best Man and Just One of the Guys. And I love the Blue Heron series. It's about a small family in upstate New York. And yeah, I, I enjoy these ones a lot. And I'm like, I think there's, like I said, seven books and I'm, I've only read the first three. So I need to have some catching up to do. So uh, at some point I'm going to get to this one. Now that I've remembered that I have it and I haven't read it yet, if it doesn't come up in my jar pick for next month, I might just have to throw it on my November TBR just because I, I really want to get to it. Um, so the next one, another book that I have not read yet, we have 
a Ran Thane novel. There's a couple Ran Thane novels on this list. Um, is Current Creek Valley, Valley, excuse me, which is book four in her Hope, um, her Hope's Crossing series. So this is a small town contemporary romance series. Ran Thane's books are, uh, border very much so on the sweet side of romance. You're not going to get a lot of adult content in her books. This is, um, obviously not a category. She writes a lot for category, but this is a single title. Well, a single title part of a series. So yeah, I've enjoyed the first few that I've read in this series and I'm looking forward to getting to this one. The next one is a book that I have already read and it is a love inspired suspense. And this is Protection Detail by Shirley McCoy. This is the first book in the Capital Canine Unit series. I read it back in 2017. I gave it three stars. So essentially this mini series, I think there was six books in total, all written by different authors. And it follows um, a canine unit that protects very important people in Washington, D.C. And that's what I remember of it. I think I've only read the first one, the first and maybe the second. I can't remember. I'd have to go and double check. But yeah, I mean, I enjoyed it. Again, three stars, enjoyable enough. At the Love Inspired Suspense, I do really like those ones. Uh, the next one is another book that I have not read yet. And this is, uh, come on, where are you? This is Echo Lake by Carla Naggers. This is book number four in the Swift River Valley series. Uh, this author, I am very familiar with her more romantic suspense type books, but she does write a fair amount of contemporary romance. And this is a small town contemporary romance series. It's snowy on the cover, but I don't believe it's a Christmas book. Um, I believe it's a legit winter book, which you don't see a lot of it. And it, it happens in everything, in both books and TV and stuff that, you know, if especially if you're watching like a long-running TV series and they have the Christmas episode, then all of a sudden it's like spring. Like they completely skip over the fact that, you know, a lot of the country has winter. <laughs> and it's the same in books. Like you get a lot of holiday-themed books, but then anything that has snow on the cover, people automatically usually assume it's a Christmas book. In this case, I don't think it is. I think it's a legit takes place in winter time. So I am excited about this one eventually. Um, if it comes up in the jar, of course, I'm going to read it. So we shall see. There are nine books in the jar this, this, this go around, you guys. Um, the next one. Okay. So I have read up until I think this point in the series and I kind of stopped because the first book in the series, I absolutely loved. It's one of my favorite contemporary romance novels, but the other books have kind of been like just average for me. And the next book I have here is Taken With You by Shannon Stacy. This is book number eight in the Kowalski family series. So like I said, the very first book in this series I absolutely loved. And I'm completely drawing a blank on what it's called now. <laughs> Isn't that horrible? But the first book was about, um, was essentially a, a second chance romance. And that's, I, go check it out. Like look up this series and go and check it out. Um, the first book was absolutely delightful. But like I said, the rest of them have kind of been like average. You know, I didn't dislike them, but they've been average. So I haven't been jumping to get back to the series. Um, so yeah, again, if it comes up great, I think this might be the last or the second last in the series. So it would be nice to get this one read to get the series finished. That would be great to finish off a series. Um, the next one is a book that I've read and it's by a very favorite author of mine. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. This is the first, this is one of the first books by her I read. I read this before I even read the um, Sleepless in Manhattan, no, from Manhattan with Love series. And this is First Time and Forever by Sarah Morgan. Um, so this is a part of a trilogy that she does, the Puffin Island trilogy. It's book number one. And I read this back in 2017. I gave it three stars, but I really did enjoy it. It was a super, super cute uh, contemporary romance. It takes place on a small island, clearly called Puffin Island. And it was a lot of fun and I absolutely recommend them. I do love Sarah Morgan's writing. I mean, now she's moved more towards the women's fiction side of the spectrum, but her contemporary is great. This is a great series. The O'Neill Brothers trilogy by her is great. But of course, I have to recommend every time um, the From Manhattan with Love series. It's a six book series. It is fantastic. It's one of my favorites. So if you have not picked up Sarah Morgan yet, I recommend it. If you're into the contemporary romance, do note that she does move a bit more to the spicy side of the spectrum. She does have open door scenes in her books. Um, 
the next one, oh, a favorite, favorite author of mine. Uh, let me see here. This is a Harlequin historical novel, and it is called, <clears throat> it is called The Wrong Cowboy, and it's by Lori Robinson. I love Lori Robinson's writing. I am such a big fan of her work. A number of years ago, I read a book called Diary of a War Bride by her that I still recommend to everyone. It's a Harlequin historical novel. Please go read it. It's a World War II, and it was just amazing and magical and I loved it. So you need to check that one out. But this one, I read it in 2017 and I gave it three and a half stars. Pardon me. It is an American West historical. That's really all I remember about it, but I do know it was Laurie Robinson and I liked it quite a bit. Um, the next one, a lot of category in this, in this go round, you guys, that's always fun. We have a Blaze novel. So we have Riding High by Vicki Lewis Thompson. This is book number 14 in the Sons of Chance series. So I remember reading the first three in this series many, many, many years ago. And it's essentially about three brothers. And I think the rest of the series then follows cousins and friends and, you know, stuff like that. I, but I believe they all take place on the same ranch. So cowboy, contemporary, it's a Blaze novel, so you know it's going to get spicy. Yeah. I, I'm looking forward to getting to this one uh, eventually. Um, next up, we have a B.J. Daniels novel. And this is, she also writes quite a bit for category, but this is a stand, a single title uh, novel by her. And this is Mercy. And this is book number five in the Beartooth Montana series. This, I believe, is a romantic suspense series. She writes a lot for the intrigue line. So almost everything that she writes is... <clears throat> excuse me, is going to be romantic suspense, but it's cowboy romantic suspense. So I think I've read one or two in this series, so I'm looking forward to getting to this one. Um, next up, another book that I have read. We only have four more to go, guys, just four more to go. Um, the next one, this is actually originally, this one was originally published as a special edition novel for Harlequin. However, they have re-released it with a new cover, and that's the cover that they show here on the Kindle. And this is Light the Stars by Rayanne Thane. So again, this was originally published as a special edition novel. Um, it is book number one in the Cowboys of Cold Creek series. This, this is a seven book series, I believe, about a, again, brothers, cousins, kind of a family situation in, I think it's Cold Creek, Montana, is where the name comes from. This one, I think it's about the nanny and the dad. Like, it's a single dad, and she is coming in to be a nanny, and of course they fall for each other. It was really cute. I gave this, when I read it, where is it here? Three and a half stars when I read it back in 2017. So I really like Rayanne Thane's writing, and uh, her stuff is really fantastic. Um, next up, uh, the last one of the bunch that I haven't read yet is another Maisie Yates novel. And it's book four, book three, excuse me, in the Cooper Ridge series. I already mentioned book one, and now I also have book three, and it's Bad News Cowboy. Um, so yeah, I have not read this one yet. It's part of a series. A part of me hope, a part of me think, okay, if I pull this book, I think I'm actually going to read the first one first. Um, only because both of them, both one and three, are on this list. So I think that's what I'm going to end up doing if this one gets picked. So we shall see. But um, yeah, Cowboy Contemporary, it's Maisie Yates. It's her bread and butter. She does it so well. <laughs> so well. If you are looking to start reading Cowboy Contemporary Romance, please go check out Maisie Yates because she is the definite go-to in that category. Um, the next one, I talked about the first book in this series in my last video, in my last On My Kindle video, and this is Carolina Girl by Virginia Cantra. This is book two in the Dare Island series, and I read this one in 2018 and gave it four stars. Another small town contemporary romance series takes place on an island. I believe it's off the coast of the Carolinas, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, I gave it four stars. I liked it. <laughs> it was enjoyable. So yeah, I'm sorry I don't remember more, but it was like four years ago. <laughs> And I've read a lot since then. So, and last but not least, uh, we have a cozy mystery because let's end off with a fun, cozy mystery. And this is one, of course, that I've already read. And this is Strawberry Shortcake Murder by Joanne Fluke. And this is book number two in the Hannah Swenson series. I read it in 2017, gave it three and a half stars. I do like the Hannah Swenson series quite a bit. They've, they're not what they were like, I'm up to book, I think, eight or nine at this point, and there's something like 25 books so far. My opinion, maybe it's time to end the series. 
because the last one that I read, the murder didn't even take place till halfway through the book. But I only kept reading it because I like the characters and I'm invested in this series. So my set suggestion is if you are starting with the Hannah Swenson or the Joanne Fluke, uh, or these books by Joanne Fluke, is to not start later in the series. Start at the beginning and see if you enjoy them. You know what I mean? Um, because I feel if you start later on, you're just not going to get the same joy that those of us who start at the beginning. And I think that's why she's still publishing them because there are so many readers who will still continue to read them. It's the same thing as the Jan Ivanovich books, the Stephanie Plum. Like, they're up to book, what, 98 now or something like that, and she still hasn't picked between um, Joe and, uh, I almost called him Reacher. What's his name? Ranger. Ranger. So yeah, there's a point where the series series just need to end. I know they're a great moneymaker for the author and the publisher, but, you know, maybe it's time to end them off. <laughs> Because <laughs> literally, how many murders can you have in a small town in Minnesota? <laughs> so yeah, but this is a fun series. Started at book number one with Chocolate Chip Cookie Murder. You will not be disappointed if you're a cozy mystery fan. So yeah, so that is all of the books. So let's have a quick sip of coffee. Cheers. I am filming this a bit earlier in the morning. Let's check if you will jar. My crazy pants jar, which I love. So we'll shake it up a little bit, reach in here. I got Bernard laying at my feet, as he does now. All right, what have we got? What are we reading in October, my friends? What are we reading in October? Oh, A Royal Fortune by Judy Durante, I believe. Yes, that is the special edition novel. So yay, it's a first in a series. It's Fortunes of Texas. That'll be fun. So yay, I'm very excited about that. That's fantastic. So anyway, guys, that is all that I have for today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below. Have you read any of these books? What did you think about them? Are you now adding any of these to your own maybe TBR? Um, I will leave the list of all the books in the description box below. So if you guys missed any of the titles or you want to look any of them up a bit more, they'll all be listed below title and author. And until my next video, everybody, take care and happy reading. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye, guys. Thank you.